Good afternoon everybody. Today we have a very special day. We're back at Aquariums Alive in Narang on the Gold Coast where I got my fish tank from. And today we're getting the second and final fish for the tank. Hopefully, oh, Dan's up there getting their box. Hi. Put the fish in the transport at home. Hopefully it all goes smoothly. Word on the street is because they can't eat each other because they're similar size, they should be fine. But I dare say there'll be a fight or two going down. So. Our first task is for Dan to get the fish out of the big tank, put it in the box, and then I gotta drive him home, then I gotta get him out of the box, put him into my fish tank, and then hopefully it all runs smoothly. This could be pretty interesting, I'm really looking forward to it. New fish is pretty cool, you'll see what it is soon, and we gotta name him. So maybe we'll put it to the to you guys at home to name the fish. I was gonna name it Patrick, but I don't Patrick. know. Patrick. You're gonna name it Patrick. Yeah. You're acting. No, I'm just trying. Are you, you alright? Yeah, mate. I'm just judging you for what you named your fish. As you can see, I did a firmware update on my camera yesterday, which apparently fishes the, fixes the really bad autofocus problem. It's actually looking. Oh no, as we said that, it goes out of focus. Like yeah, so maybe we'll do that. We'll do a. Like a thing in the comments. You can suggest the name of the fish. Colin with the most likes will win the naming rights of the fish. What do you reckon? Right? How are you going to get away with this? Oh, there's a lot of water on the ground and hopefully not a fish. Do you want to tell us a bit about the fish and what kind it is and all that kind of stuff? I can. Uh, it's a Calvary cross uh, monoculus peacock bass. It'll eat whatever fits in his mouth. He's an American cichlid. It's about it. It's all right. And what, so that, this is him here. This is the one that I'm getting? Yeah. And then there's this one. Yeah. These ones are a different species. Yeah, though. so they're an exemplary peacock bass. And they're real expensive. Yes. This one not so expensive. Yet, not as bad. But still expensive. Yes. He's the most predatory one, I think, anyway. He's a psycho. Even though... Yeah, go, go, go. He's already been fed, so I don't think he'll hit my finger. Come on, bro. The cow's coming. Yeah, they're definitely not as psycho as normal, though. Like. No. When did they get fed? Just this before? Morning, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Alright. Not a psycho. He's, He's pretty psycho. cool looking though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit psycho. Not enough though. He looks real sick. Oh. Do you reckon he knows he's coming home? No. <laughs> no, I don't reckon he does. Oh, he wants to bite that other one. He's definitely the most aggressive one, eh? Yeah. It's kind of a bit weird like a to bit break up the happy family, eh? Hey? There is. Like, it's not gonna be smooth sailing by any means, but. You're gonna destroy my camera? Possibly. Yeah, probably. Is it waterproof? No. Yeah. <laughs> back up. We don't want Big Whitey in there. No, that's not a good time. That's not a good time for any man involved. Come on, Daniel, what are you doing? Yeah, right. get into him. Just taking a piss, mate. Alright. Oh. 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 Daniel. Daniel. You got him. You got... Oh. No, no. No, don't have him. Come back. Come back to the front, please. Can you not knock the tank over, please, and I'll make it land on me? To. I'm dead as just as much Stop as stressing you. him out, Dan. Just get him. Did you bring your lure? We can catch him. I was about to say, you're not much better with a rod, are you, Dan? <laughs> He knows, man. <laughs> this guy just backed up into the wall. Nah, he's too smart, man. Are you sure he's in there still? No. Hold on. I can't see. Oh, no, he's still in there. He's still in there? Yeah, you, you need to bring it back towards you a bit. He's come out. He's looking pretty stressed out. I'm a bit sad. Poor little Jimmy. Get him down. Get him. Up. Up now. Because no, I want to catch him with this now. Which now? The little now. Because it's easier to get him into the box. Right? But I know he's not going to be very cooperative in that regard. Wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, water going everywhere. Water about. Oh. That, that's what I'm trying to avoid. And him jumping too. Oh, yeah. Surely. This is it. This is it, Dan. Oh. 
He's really smart, man. Daniel. Yes, Daniel. He's done it. Yes, Daniel. He's done it. Yes, Daniel. <laughs> yes, Daniel. <laughs> I haven't done it. I've not done it. He's in the net. Yeah, but not in. Do you want the other net? Yeah. Oh, water on the camera. It's getting more expensive by the second. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah. You've done it, man. Oh no. Oh, massive water on the camera. <laughs> Daniel. What's that stuff? It's stressed up. It's what, sorry? Stressed up. It stops him from putting back in It's like a, um... Oh, really? Thank, Thank you, Dan. Chances of survival for peacock bass? Very high. Very high? Very high. Stand by that statement? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're out of here. Remember, if you need any fish, <laughs> come in and see the guys. Dan will help you out. And, yeah. I'm gonna go home. Try and get this thing in the fish tank and hopefully no big team death match, Barra versus Peacock. <laughs> She'll be right. If, if Do you reckon they'll fight? Maybe for like five minutes they'll just square each other up, but I reckon they'll do anything. I reckon the Barra will seriously buff him when I put him in. Good luck. All right, Have thank fun. you, Dan. No worries, man. I'll, I'll see you soon. We're on. Wait, 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 wait. Check out Margarita Girl here. Hey. Do you even know what a peacock bass is, mate? I do. You're about to see. I'm really attached to Anthony now, though. I'm not... Oh, he's still... He's humming. He's good. Hey, buddy. Okay, this is where it gets pretty gnarly here, I think. Because we've got to get him out of here. Walk him through here. Put him into the tank. And Anthony's waiting for him. Look. So I think our best way to do this is what Dan said, get a wet towel, wrap him up in the towel, take him in. But I think I might have to cut a hole in the box, drain a bit of water out of there. Do you think? I'm nah, nervous. I reckon he'll freak out if you do that. Yeah, but it's easier to get him. And I think it's all about doing it as quickly as possible to not scare the shit out of him. Um, okay. Okay, we're draining water out. Right at the front door. Yeah. Oh, watch the shoes. Let's go nice and slow. Do that talking you do when you catch fish and it calms them down. It's okay, buddy. Uncle Brooksy won't hurt you. Uncle Brooksy. Oh, oh no, it's got, you, like, it's got something you on it. Yeaman's here. This towel's got something on it. It'll be fine. Look at Yeaman, she's on top. Yeaman, go away. Go away. Got the strangest looking zoo. Okay, got him. You're like a pro at holding fish. I you got, got this. Okay, we're gonna get the full nice. weight. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out. Oh no! Oh. oh my god. I just really slipped. Oh my off. god! It's okay, it's okay, relax, relax, relax. Calm down. Calm down. Watch out, I gotta get the glass on. Calm down. It's okay. Keep talking, it's working. That was really smooth, the getting him out. Anthony's not happy about this one bit. That was pretty good, Jen. You, that was really swift. I oh, look at him. Okay, so one of the things we gotta not turn the lights on because the lights will stress him out. Anthony's got tripping. Look at him. I've never seen him so pissed off. You got a new sheriff in town, Anthony. Just be friends, man. So can we go through this again? The peacock's meant to be oh, no. the aggressive one. No, they're both aggressive. Anthony's Put it angled up without their light. Anthony's not happy. They haven't had a fight though, which is good. I wish I could have the lights on, but I just don't want to scare him. 
That was so smooth, the that tower pickup. Good. Even though the water, I slipped on the floor as well. Well done, that was... Oh, fun. poor Anthony. It's okay, man. He's your new mate. And how's he going? That, that's an interesting look. He's just stressed. He looks pretty... Oh, Anthony. <gasps> Anthony, no. Hey. Oh, that was scary. Anthony, no. 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 Oh. I thought Anthony was going to bite him. Yeah, no. No. Oh, maybe they're becoming... Maybe they love each other. I wonder how fish communicate. They're actually like really similar size, which is good. You can see how he's breathing quite heavy. He's definitely a bit stressed out. Anthony, piss off. Like, can you imagine if you'd lived in a tank your whole life? Because when the, the guy I bought Anthony from got him this big, he's been in a tank his whole life by himself. And now he's just got this other thing in there that he can't eat. He'd be tripping out. Let's see what you would think. Yeah, what do you think, human? She doesn't give a shit. She does, though, when we're not really caring that much. It's She's just weird though, look at her. Yeah, she's very strange. We'll leave it at that for a little bit. We'll do little check-ins as the day progresses and hopefully all goes smoothly. Think of your names, what you want to, what you think you should be named. Remember, I was thinking Patrick, Patrick the Peacock Bass. Anthony! They can't understand what you're saying. Anthony does understand. I'm sorry for the poor little guy. All right, we've given him a few hours. We've been out. Just come home and they have been sitting side by side. I turn the lights on. Look at that, mate. He's looking good. He's got his fins all flared up. He's definitely settled down a bit. He's breathing. Anthony's chilled out a bit too. All right, this morning, woke up. I got up out of bed and the worst possible thing ever that could happen happened. I walked out there and Anthony was stuck underneath the log, upside down, dead. It was really heavy. I thought if anything was going to die, it would be the peacock bass. And I don't know what happened. I think there's possible scenarios. Peacock bass beat him up somehow, even though Anthony's bigger. I reckon he's choked. Option two, I spoke to Dan and Dan said because I fed Anthony last night, the peacock bass didn't eat, fed Anthony and he ate a herring, but afterwards he was a bit weird. And when he ate the herring, it was stuck. normally he just like, it's gone, but it was like half hanging out. I think it was a bit backwards. Oh no. It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. And he kept banging his head and stuff. so. Dan said he might have actually choked on the herring, which is heavy because the herring wasn't even that big. But when I got up, the herring was, it vomited the herring out and he was like under the log and kind of twitching and stuff. I held him, I got him and put him face into the current, but I think it was just nerves by that point and he was already like kind of stiff. Really sucks, man. Anthony was epic and... I'm pretty dev I would have way rather the peacock bass died, even though it was f expensive as, but there's a big connection with Anthony already after a month. He was like a puppy dog. Yeah. And Jem said she woke up in the night and heard banging, so that's what made me think that they were fighting or something. Come on, Anthony. He's so stiff, the poor thing. Jem, I was going to wrap him up and stuff, but Jem reckons no. Where's the frog? Can you pass me the barramundi frog? Oh, Anthony. Put the barramundi frog there. Oh. That's so sad. I don't even want to film him. I'm going to bury him. Can you hold that? Really sad. See ya, Anthony.
Not very nice, Jam. Yeah, I know.